Hi, this is Dr. Laksh Rathod and I make short videos of orthopedic topics for you to watch on the move. Today I'll discuss about the acceptability criteria in fracture shaft humerus fractures in adults. Broadly, there are three acceptability criteria. Number one, anterior angulation less than 20 degrees. Second is varus valgus angulation in less than 30 degrees and a shortening of less than 3 centimeters. These are all acceptable. Looking at the first example, in the AP view we see a mild varus angulation less than 20 degrees acceptable. In the lateral view we see slight anterior angulation which is also less than 30 degrees so this is also acceptable. Second example, on the AP view we see there is an angulation, varus angulation slightly more than 30 degrees so it is not acceptable while on the lateral view there is no anterior angulation so this is acceptable although there is a little bit of shortening which is also acceptable now for those who have a little time I would like to discuss a few things uh, number one anterior angulation the first criteria of anterior angulation now uh, neither rockwood nor orthobullets mention anything about the posterior angulation so if you have any reliable reference about it kindly let me know in the comments second is uh, valgus angulation uh, rockwood only mentions about the varus angulation not about the valgus angulation but orthobullet does mention about this thirdly there is another uh, criteria mentioned in some of the articles which is the mall rotation and they state it as a acceptable up to 15 degrees I don't think it is of much significance since the range of motion of the shoulder is very wide uh, second thing in while uh, when we uh, routinely perform check x-rays for the patients after applying a use lab or uh, u cast uh, you can see in this x-ray the surgeon has very intelligently ordered a transthoracic view a transthoracic view of the humerus uh, mostly what happens is that you order routine ap or lateral view for check x-rays and the radiographer will internally rotate the distal fragment to make it lateral but he cannot rotate the proximal fragment because there is no hold as there is there is a fracture present in between so this will cause uh, much pain to the patient and also it will not be a true lateral view. Hence, it is my request that you order a transthoracic view to get a true lateral picture of the fracture and then you can make a proper assessment. Like uh, we see in this example, here the, uh, the, uh, the distal fragment has been rotated internally by the radiographer but the proximal fragment is almost the same. So this is not a true picture and you cannot uh, perform a true assessment on this x-rays uh, so i hope this small video was helpful to you in revising what you already know kindly leave comments to let me know what you think thank you